Just Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy, all Bing Yankees, back with another video. Um, so, so the Yankees, this is breaking news. Just resigned Anthony Rizzo to, I believe, a two-year, forty million dollar deal with the club option for the third year. Now. This signing is much bigger than you guys might think because Rizzo's a leader. Um, he knows how to play first base with the best of them. He's a true professional. Um, and I just feel like if we had lost him, that would have been maybe bigger bigger than losing judge i know that's a the unpopular opinion but first base is one of the toughest positions to play you know scooping up balls keeping your foot on the back making good throws saving errors you know that's difficult now people are saying that um that means Aaron Judge will sign with the Yankees, but I think that's all hogwash. I don't think that that means that number 99 is coming back. But I guess it does have some merit to it, knowing how close they obviously were in the dugout and personally. They were always laughing together during a game. They were always talking to each other. So if you guys want to think that that leads to a judge re-signing, then you're more than free to have that belief. Um, as far as the other free agents that signed, um, as you guys know, Edwin Diaz signed a five-year $102 million contract with the Mets, the richest of any closer. Not to my knowledge, this happened literally right after the World Series. I don't know all the rules. I thought you had to wait till the Thursday after the World Series to officially re-sign players, but apparently that's not the case. So that's a target that, unfortunately, I feel that the Yankees missed out on because he's a top flight arm that we could have used out of the bullpen with so many uncertainties in our bullpen with Castro, Michael King, Chapman, Britton, all probably gone. So that's an unfortunate... Uh, guy that we couldn't get. Tyler Anderson just signed with the Angels. Coming up a career year with the Dodgers. It's a good signing for the Angels. Lord knows they need pitching. As far as um, Trey Turner, I don't know. I saw something yesterday that said with the betting favorites to sign him, I think that's absolute BS because of what Cashman said. He said that we're not looking to sign any of the top flight free agents, shortstop, shortstops, whether that be Trey Turner, Carlos Correa, and B. Swans. And I believe him because then why didn't we trade our Oswald, Peraza, or Anthony Volpe for Luis Castillo at the deadline this past year? So I don't think Trey Turner's coming to the Yankees anytime soon. But he said Josh Donaldson is our third baseman next year. Do you guys really want that? Do you guys really want a 220, 15, 
and 50 kind of guy that had a horrible postseason. And frankly, he's good defensively, but the metrics would say that he's the first or second best defensive third baseman in all baseball. I really don't think that's the case. Um, it's Arenado, Machado, and then everyone else. But Donaldson was nice defensively, but I don't think he was the first or second best defensive third base. So, that kind of sucked to hear. Um, there's no big news other than that. But what do you guys think the Yankees will do in the offseason? Do you think we re we re-sign Judge? If not, who's our replacement for him? Um, do you think we go at the starting pitcher? Oh, I forgot to bring up one thing. Um, if Judge walks... Potentially, there's a stud Japanese outfielder that has over a career 1,000 OPS. I can't remember his name, but the Yankees are linked to him. So, Judge Walks, that's a name that we could go after. I know it's in the Japanese Baseball League, but those are still good stats. So, if Judge Walks, why not give him a shot? And I saw yesterday too that we're trying to re-sign Ben Intendi. I hope we do because that guy can put the ball in play. He's good defensively. He's got some speed. He's got some clutch hitting in him. So I hope Ben Intendi remains the Yankee. But um. Yeah, do you think the Yankees we sign Aaron Judge? Do you think we go after a Carlos Rodon? Do you think we trade Gleyber Torres? You know, coming off a good year. Um, you know his trade value just increased. So can we get a can we get a key piece for him? I'm not sure. And what did he do? What did Bear do but we'll see what happens, guys. Let me know what you guys think. You were disgusted. Alright, till next time. Peace out, guys.